Within the shader tree, we can also add additional layers to the individual uh, item masks here. We can add layers that uh, give us all kinds of different custom uh, materials and custom shading attributes to our model. We can do enhanced moto textures, which are literally dozens and dozens of uh, procedurally driven images that can be manipulated on the fly. Uh, we also have uh, image maps of the, all different types we can add to our model. We can do processing, out, render outputs, and some specialty sort of materials as well, such as fur shaders, uh, surface generators, wireframe textures, those sorts of things. So anyway, uh, there's really way too many of these to go through in this video series. However, suffice it to say, it is well worth your time to explore these different item types and see how they can actually create really phenomenal effects on your model. One item type that we will be making quite a bit of use of with regards to texturing our shoe are going to be image maps. And so we could add image maps to any one of these item masks. And it's a pretty straightforward process for the most part. Now, if you recall, we had to make UV maps of all of the materials or all of the uh, items we were going to apply our image maps to. So I'm going to jump over real quick to the UV section here and we can see that this teapot already has quite a great selection of UV maps. Now I'm going to double click that and that's pretty much the body of the UV map. So with that selected, I'm going to reassign all these polygons to the teapot body one material. All I have to do is hit the M key to open that up. Let's go here, teapot body one, click on that. Now they've all been reassigned to this material mask. Now with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and close the uh, UV texture window here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in an image map. There's a lot of ways we can actually add an image to our object here. We can go to add layer, go to image map and load an image, or we can, uh, do a new empty image or or we can use our clip browser however our clip browser doesn't really have anything in it right now so if i open that up which is right here we can see that there are, are no clips to add to our model so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump over here to our preset browser window and i've already loaded up my uh, images in my preset browser here and let's go down here to miscellaneous and i'll add the old moto logo all right, so now I double click on that. We don't see anything happening because all it did is loaded that image into our clip browser. And now we can either drag it over to nest it inside of this uh, material mask, or we can add a layer, image map, use clip browser, and then it'll bring up the clip browser and we can just click on that. And now you can see that Moto did two things. One, it applied the image map to our teapot body one, but it also wrapped that image using the coordinates of the UV map that was assigned to those polygons. Now, by no means are we stuck with having the image locked into this position. There's a lot of things we could do to move and change the position of this image. One thing we can do is change the geometry within the UV space here. And I'm just going to uh, do a regular resize here. And as I resize my uh, geometry here, you can see that the image all scales down as I scale up the geometry. So if I move the geometry around, I can position the UV map or at least the image map exactly where I want on this geometry. Um, another thing we could do, we want to change the scale in just one direction or another. I can expand or contract that image either vertically or horizontally. So there's a lot of ways to move that. I can also um, rotate this and it changes the rotation of the image as well. So we could do that. I'm just going to jump back to where it was here by undoing. Now we can also see in the texture locator tab right here, we can also see a lot of parameters we can change here as well. So in the transform uh, area here where it has size, X, Y, and Z, these do not function as long as you are 
mapping it with a UV texture. There are other mapping types, other projection types you can map this to, but under UV you have to use these, these uh, parameters right here to change the size and the position of the UV map. So if I look at the horizontal wrap, if by uh, changing that number down uh, to a lower number, you can see that the UV geometry doesn't change, but the image does change on the, on the object. So it's basically wrapping it virtually around that uh, UV space in one direction or another. We also have here resets and repeats in, in different UV coordinates. So if I increase the number of wraps vertically and horizontally, you can see that that image repeats on our model and I can actually just reset it as well. Reset, reset, and it's not wanting to read for me for some reason, but I'm not gonna let that bother me. Okay, so we can also do uh, rotation, one, one direction or another, and that will also rotate our image. And uh, you can do texture offsets, uh, random offsets, and these we'll get into a bit later, but uh, for the most part, adjusting these parameters are the best way of positioning your image onto your object.